What's up, peeps? Welcome to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm your host, Zon19. Alright, let's dive into this. We're going to do some challenge runs. We'll do Highbrow. Um, ah, Curse of Darkness, first floor. Okay, so Highbrow is the challenge where you have to use uh, poop or uh, bathroom related uh, items. You have number one, which greatly increases your tears but lowers your range because, of course, you're peeing. That's what number one is if you didn't get that. Uh, butt bombs, which do area of effect concussive damage to all enemies, which also stacks with other bomb effects. So if you have poison bombs, butt bombs, it poisons every enemy on the room. Very cool. Uh, Turdy touch, which is E. coli, if you didn't know. Uh, it turns enemies into poop when they touch you. And flush, which is a item, a spacebar item, which you can use once every six rooms that turns all the enemies into poop. It's very effective on big rooms. Uh, also start off with petrified poop. And six bombs for some reason. And it's very good starting stuff. Okay, let's make a, make a run for this. I... Oh, for fuck's sake. Postpone, please. Okay. Uh, I did try to record this run just a second ago. However, uh... I found out when I died <laughs> that I wasn't actually recording, so I'm glad that I died. Nope. Just nope to that whole room. Uh, I hope I get uh, Small Rock like I did on the last run. Small Rock Abaddon. It was actually a really good run. I just fucked it up by taking Contract from Below, which didn't even pay out for an entire floor. It was bad. It was very bad. I was very worried uh, about that run the whole time, and it was only through a very lucky pill which gave me an HP upgrade that I managed to not screw that one up. Uh, well, more than dying, you know. I, I did more than just, like, not die. What am I even saying? I don't even know anymore. Um, I was really good about looking for second secret rooms, all that fun stuff. Uh, secret rooms, shooting all the poop because I have petrified poop. Uh, is that a tenured rock? Well, I can't freaking tell because the map's in the way. Okay, let's see. Second secret room? No, no secret room. Makes me sad. Some mated flies. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Alright, got a key. That's not too bad. Is that a tenured rock? No. Is that a tenured rock? No. Not looking for the color. I'm looking for the X that uh, is on all tenedrops. That shows you that they're tenedrops. It's a pretty big giveaway most of the time. Uh, I don't see any. Okay. I guess there's just well, there's two places where the second the secret room could be. It could be here, or it could be on the other side. I don't mind using bombs for this. There's a chance like really? Is there just not a secret room on the first floor? Okay. Uh, I will spend my key to come in here. And of course Champion's Belt is going to be in the first room. So I'm really hoping that I get uh, Pageant Boy on this boss fight. Just so I can afford that. Uh, of course it's a champion. Uh, Larry Jr., which shoots out uh, red tears in front of it. As long as I don't stand in front of it, I should be relatively okay. Ah, for fuck's sake. Well, there's no deal with the devil on the first floor, so you don't gotta worry about that. Uh, range upgrade, that's actually really good for number one. Pretty much doubled my range, which is fantastic. It's like petrified poop is not working anymore. Oh well, down to the next floor. Didn't get a spirit heart. Ah, oh, I should have bought that one. Shit. Oh well. Didn't get the money I needed for champion's belt. I uh, didn't buy the spirit heart because I'm a dummy. Um, hopefully this floor will pan out better for us. This is made for us. That's hilarious. I did get. A uh, 
an arcade. Which had some more poop on it, and got five cents out of it. That's actually fantastic. I'm gonna... Ah, oh, I can't. No keys. That sucks. Oh, of course. Come on. And if you didn't know, our character set is Isaac. We're playing as Isaac right now. So, you have Isaac's base stats and everything. Really could have turned that room into poop and got some good items out of it, but... Or some good consumables out of it. And just didn't think about it. Uh, Magic Fingers... Is... Not the droid I am looking for, so I'm gonna take the discounted spirit part. Just to ensure that I get to deal with the devil on this floor. And it looks like there might be a super room here. Nope. I'm just having really shit luck with finding them this time around. Oh, you know what? It's probably like right over there. I keep forgetting I have like a range upgrade now, so I don't have to be right up next to them in order to hit them. A great thing. Oh! Ah! Hagawa's destruction. That's amazing. Um, destroys all breakable things on a room, except for slot machines. And donation machines, you know, those kinds of things. Uh, yeah, I will blow these up and hope that speed upgrade, that's nice. Tears down, that sucks. Liberty cap, I do not want, but I do want the Hagalaz room, so I'm gonna keep this. Got, what, a battery charge on this? So, on this floor, so I might as well pop this first chance I get. Break all the poop. Probably with the Hagalaz room. Well, it didn't break the, the enemy poops, but it broke all the rocks. Which worked out pretty fine. And go back for the battery charge. I know I'm wasting time, uh, boss rush and all that, but you only have to beat Mom in order to beat this challenge. So I don't have any problems with uh, not doing it. And uh, what my plans are for the next few videos, uh, doing these challenge runs, is I'm only going to release the runs that where I actually beat the challenge, because some of them are very hard, uh, especially Suicide King, where I'm going to probably challenge it four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times, and I'm not entirely... Oh, shit, that was bad. That was bad, bad, bad. I just wanted to kill one. Uh, concussion, if you didn't know, confuses the enemies temporarily, so they can sometimes shoot in the wrong direction, they can move in the wrong direction, that kind of stuff. But okay, latch key for luck upgrade and two keys, which will come in handy. And let's see what's on our deal with the devil. Uh, Guppy's Collar and Fear Shot, so I'm going to take both of these. Guppy's Collar for the survivability and the guppiness, and Fear Shot, Dark Matter, because it's a damage upgrade and it is a uh, it is a fear shot, and I like doing fear shots. So there you go. I have 27 cents, so I might as well come back to this shop. I don't remember what was on the shop, mind you. I don't believe it was anything good, but I'm gonna see if there's anything else in here that I want. Ah, it was uh, that, so I will get this and then leave. Well, I can play the slot machine a little bit. Bad gas. Oh. Turned into poop, because I was invincible for that frame. Okay, that's all I feel like uh, playing on that slot machine. So I got a lot of red hearts I couldn't use. Uh, it spells out good things in the future. I could possibly get Dark Bum and maybe do better. Who knows? Uh, but okay, down we go. Floor number three out of six. Halfway there. I'm uh, gonna use my flush charge on the big room over there once I actually get to it. 
depending on what's inside, if it's actual enemies. Yeah. Uh, and that looks like a uh, butt penny, uh, which makes you fart whenever you pick up a penny, which is hilarious. And if you could have started with it on this run, it probably would have been better than uh, Petrified Poop. Maybe. Maybe. Kind of still need a bomb. Kind of need these guys to hold still so I can kill them. My favorite fear shot has to probably be Abaddon, but it's not a very powerful uh, fear shot that kicks in very often. It's just kind of tacked on to work in conjunction with Abaddon. See what's in here? It's just a regular chest. If I need it, I will come back for it. But I'm looking to go into the shop first. Let's see what's in the shop. There might be two or three items I actually want in the shop. So I might have to do it for the money. A couple of greed heads. This is not the situation I want to be in for greed heads. Because they can still shoot, even when feared. Even when full of fear, they can still shoot me. And there's not a lot of walking room in here. Kind of missing that Hoggleaz room. Great thing about challenge runs is most of them unlock new runes that uh, can be used on the next run. As soon as the next run, believe it or not. I hate it when they become the headless versions, because they'll shoot out sporadically. They never really show where they're going to shoot. Okay, got him. Still no bombs. Nope. <laughs> uh, nope, nope, nope. That room was full of nope. The second I saw it, I was like, hell no. Not fighting that room. And that's what, uh... That's what flesh is for. When a room is full of nope, you just kill it all. Or turn it all into poop. Totally shit the floor. Shit the room. The bed. One plus one humbling bundle is fantastic. If I also get contract from below, that'll be amazing. Um, not gonna grab that battery. I'm gonna hope, hope that I get uh, something nice in the deal with the devil on this floor. I can't use the uh, polycephalus. That's bad. Took a half heart damage. Almost lost my spirit heart there. I'd rather fight polycephalus like this from a distance. And that's what uh, Fear Shot's gonna guarantee pretty much. It's fighting polycephalus from a distance. Because he's gonna stay back. Okay. He's dead. He did not get any deal with the devil. That's fine. Tears plus shot speed up? Yeah. Plus an evil upgrade, which gave us a black heart. Now I'm immediately going to sacrifice that black heart to go into the curse room. Because there might be something good on it. Oh, I don't have any bombs. That sucks. I need bombs, so I'm going to fight this uh, mob trap room. Except not yet. Not yet. going to go in here. Let's see what's in here. I know. Ah, uh, I was really hoping for a trip to deal with the devil. But okay. Let's fight this. Let's see what this is gonna do. Flat penny or more keys every time I pick up money. Sounds nice. If I had mom's purse, I would definitely pick it up. Uh, I would pick up burnt penny. Uh, for more bombs every time I picked up money. What's the enemy gonna be? It's gonna be a Larry Senior. I think that's his name, I honestly don't know. Oops, nope. Gotta keep petrified poop. Okay. That room was easy enough, did not get anything out of it. Makes me slightly sad, and slightly mad, but no time to waste down to the next floor. Shows there's an item in here. Alright, it's on page two. Don't really need it, don't really like it. So let's keep going.
Caves 2, floor number 4. Come in here. Slot machine and a blood bank, plus some pots. So, I'm not gonna use the uh, slot machine yet. And that's just a regular chest. It's not exactly worth sacrificing HP. Because I know I'm gonna get hit on a boss room. It's pretty much an inevitability that I'm gonna get hit on a boss trap room. But I can't afford to get hit right now. If I pick up maybe two more spirit hearts, I could. But not right this second. Humbling bundles should pretty much sort that out. If I get a spirit heart drop, then... Okay, bad gas. That's not too bad. What are you? Speed down. That sucks. Not gonna go into the curse room yet. Come on, die, 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 die before you're unfeared. Okay, nice. Two bombs! Alright. I was starting to worry that they didn't exist. Um... This room sh Oh, it didn't work! I was gonna say, this room is shitty enough that I would totally fucking turn all the enemies into poop. Uh, if given the opportunity, but it didn't quite work out like that. Come on. Pop up. Oh, shit. Okay. So, I need spirit heart drops, please. Let's go down. This is a room where I would prefer to have flush, just because I hate dealing with silkworms. They seem to hit me more often than not. But I have Fear Shot, so it should be okay. It pretty much, like, castrates those enemies. Ah! Ah! Jesus. I had a moment there, I was like, oh no, oh no, I'm gonna get hit! Please don't be greed. Awesome. Okay, there's a red fire there, gotta be careful with that. Uh, so boom for extra bombs. There's a bomb and a battery charge, and a key on sale. So, I'd be looking to buy Boom, because that's like three cents per bomb, and you get five of them, so that'd be really nice. Uh, not interested in the key, not interested in the battery charge yet. Let's see what's in this golden chest. If it's Cricket's head, I'll be happy. Or a guppy item would be nice too. Or more money, that's cool. Got some extra bombs. So now I'm thinking not taking the uh, boom. But it is nine extra bombs and it will set us for bombs. And they're pretty much at like a discounted three bombs uh, amount. Or three cents per bomb amount. So it's like, why would I not buy it? Plus, I picked it up and put it back down so it won't appear in the shop again. So there's my justification for that. And I almost shit myself right there. Uh, due to absolute and complete terrifying fear of having almost completely screwed that up by stepping on spikes. Yes. Long-winded explanation for terror. Yes. Terror is a man running down the street that's cock flapping in the wind. Okay. This has to be the way to the boss room. Jesus. Can't you guys just explode in the bombs, please? Oh, it's not what I expected to come out of that one. Yikini. There are like two places where there could be a second secret room. It could be like right here. Uh, well, there are a lot of spaces actually. Right here. No. Here. Yes, finally. And that's a lot of money. So the shop on this floor is definitely going to be something I'm looking into. Uh, 24 cents. Please don't let it be like all the way on the other side of the map is where the uh, the shop is. Oh, so cool. oh my god, it is. For fuck's sake, man. Keep it together. Rain it in. Alright, two more cents. Not going to fight the boss just yet. going to slowly and surely make my way back to the shop and maybe there will be a spirit heart on sale which would be nice, I need that and maybe a uh, an item that will make the game easier for me 
Oh, I've been to the shop on this floor. For fuck's sake. Okay. And it was boom. Okay. I'm dumb. Wow. Uh... Shit. So I came back all the way here for nothing. That's just fantastic. That's how I love spending my days. And I was hoping for a bill, but it's only bad gas. It's also hoping for a black market, because I would definitely spend some uh, HP on a black market. Some hard penis. Okay. A half heart I can't use, and I hopefully never will have to. Uh, it's dirty, again, for some reason, and I took half heart of damage right there. I don't feel happy about that. I don't feel proud of that in the slightest. I think this is the kind. Yeah, this is the Gertie that only summons enemies. So, this is actually really nice. I should be able to make it through this without taking damage. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, son. That was not fair. Summoning uh, uh, pooter flies at me. Got rid of that annoying nub. It's an HP upgrade, which is something I like. And I gotta deal with the devil. So let's see what the deal with the devil has in store for me. A Krampus fight. This could not have come at a worse time. I was hoping he would actually get hit now. By that bomb. Okay. Okay, that hurts. That hurts a lot. I need to be more careful. I don't want him ending my run. So I don't want to have to explain everything again. Come on, just die, just die. Thank you. Oh, sweet Jesus. Head of Krampus. That could be an amazing item that could probably save this run. So I am going to trade uh, Flush for it. I would love to just, you know, hold on to Flush, but I can't. I can't afford it. So now that I have beaten the boss and gotten Krampus' head out of our uh, pseudo deal with the devil, I'm going to come over here, go into the curse room, see what's in the curse room, and yeah, a couple of black hearts. That's amazing. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, just kind of leave. I could play the blood bank for another HP upgrade. Uh, I could go to the boss trap room. I could open that golden chest that's up at the top, I'm not really sure how it's there. Or how I didn't open it before, but I'm just gonna go down to the next floor. Uh, rather than look a gift horse in the mouth. Okay, Necropolis 1. Let's see what's in this. Just a regular chest. That could be worth something. Super Gluttony is amazing. I'm really hoping for Thunder Thighs, Lard, uh, Less Than 1, some Spirit Hearts. Anything, anything right now would be fantastic, except red hearts. Motherfucker. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> uh, and I don't have uh, flush anymore. I'm immediately regretting not taking flush with me, because I would totally have flushed this room. Giggity. Right down the drain. I believe this is the kind that turns into ooze when it dies. Nope, just dropped a red heart. It's fine. Double keys, that's cool. I'm gonna probably use my Krampus' head uh, on the big room since I have to fight it. It's There is the potential of not having a Krampus' head charge for the boss fight. So, maybe I won't use it depending on what the enemies are. Get some more money. Making the shop look more pretty by the second. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely not using it on this one. Uh, but I will shoot all this poop and blow up some of these skulls if I can. Oh, Jesus. Gotta be careful. Not let that uh, thing get to me. There we go. Just gotta play really cautiously not get hit. Getting a lot of money drops from the poop. 
but no spirit hearts. I was really hoping for some spirit hearts. That's a destruction room, which is nice. Yep, Hagalaz, destruction. It's the only rune I have, so whenever I see it pop up, I know immediately what it is. <laughs> which is a great feeling of satisfaction for me. They immediately know what something is. Because there's like five or six different kinds of uh, runes. So I'm glad that I can recognize at least one of them immediately. Come on, you have to face away from me, you're feared, damn it. There we go. Open for me. Couple of cents. Keys. Is this Necropolis? It is Necropolis with Curse of Maze attached to it. So I'm. These guys are gonna break into bonies when they die, just like that. They move really fucking fast, too. I might have to use the Hoggle room on this room uh, just to prevent myself from getting hit by these assholes. But maybe I can swing it so I won't need it. Nope! Fuck. Should have done it. But hey, I got a Spirit Heart back, so it's okay. I might come back in there for a uh, potential uh, black market. Black market potential is real. Yo, please don't spit out one. Shit. Hate it when it does that. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, it's another particularly easy room, as long as these guys don't break into the uh, headless version which spits out uh, shots. I don't mind the spinal column version, because all that does is leave creep. And most of the time, I can avoid. Step, not stepping on the creep. I can avoid stepping on the creep. Uh, shit, son! God fucking damn it. I knew that was gonna happen. I don't have any bombs, so I'm probably gonna use the uh, Hagalaz room in here. Just because there's like four skulls, but if I find a better spot, which has. Ah, for fuck's sake. I should have killed him first. Before focusing on the fire. But the fire is more often than not the one that actually hits me. Okay. Ah, fucking A. Fucking A. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Usually there could be like six or seven skulls on this particular room. Uh, there was not this time. So it's really looking like the, uh,. That one room with the four skulls is going to be the one I use the Hagalaz room on. The reason why I haven't done it yet is because sometimes there's rooms that have like six or seven uh, skulls on them. And that's the kind of room I'm looking for right now. So I want to get the best use out of this that I can. Okay. So I haven't found the shop yet, which means it's on the other side. Hopefully. Right? Yeah, because I fought Super Gluttony in that first room. Okay. Okay, these guys are relatively painless. As long as I can fear them, keep them from... Oh yeah, that's right, this is Necropolis. They can shoot out bullets uh, when they fart. That's great. Grab this, it's bad gas. Use it. I'm glad I went through the trouble of... Uh, Ah, oh, fuck. For fuck's sake. I'm in here. Put a spirit heart. Grab this. Grab the key and grab the bomb. Not because I actually need the key, but because I want the key. Aw. Oh. oh, that's right, I can just use... First the maze to teleport back and forth, can't I? No? Fine. Ah, it broke. So I can take two shots. Ha! Huh. Agalaz? Nothing! Of course not. 
Okay. So I lost all my spirit hearts. I have one bomb. Which I could use to find a secret room. But honestly, no, it's not going to be there. I have no idea where the secret room is going to be. It's not going to be here either. It means it has to be that one over there. All the way back at the beginning of the floor. So I'm not I'm just not going to worry about it right now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just fucking kill the shit out of you before you can kill the shit out of me. Come on, die, die, die. <sighs> Pentagram, that's amazing. Uh, no deal with the devil, which sucks. Because uh, that would have been the last deal with the devil we could possibly get. Uh, so it's down to the next floor. At least I got a damage upgrade. But hell, I would have really preferred like a guppy item or two. Uh, come in here, because why not? Might play for some bombs. The reason why I'm backing up is there's a chance to uh, spawn flies from this thing. Or if I'm really lucky, get a, a pretty fly, which would be amazing. Yes, that's amazing. That's amore! Aw, made out already. It's fine. You know what? I'll play you a couple times. Just because I have the half heart over there. Or the double heart, I should say. I'll come back and play it some more, because I kind of want that blood bank. Ah, I hate this fucking room. Oh my god. Um, there's not as much RNG associated with challenge runs, simply because, uh... There are no item rooms, but there's still shops, and you still get drops from bosses, and you still get deals with the devil. So it really just depends on uh, pretty much uh, your skill more often than not. Okay, that fucking sucked. That was a terrible way to lose uh, one of my last two spirit hearts. My last half heart, I should say, my last half spirit heart. Whatever. So, stuff. I still have stuff, but... Not as much stuff as I would prefer to have. If I could get to that. Ah, oh, the shop's way over there. Jesus. So I'm going the wrong way. There's no mini-bosses. Ah, oh, so glad it didn't, like, shoot at me when I was killing it. They have the potential to do that. I hate these guys. They're fucking homing two shots. There's the potential that I will not have a Krampus' head charge before I get to the boss. Which makes that suck all the more. There's another blood bank. Which I'm tempted to play. This guy is leaving green creep, so he should not explode, thankfully. He did not. Ah, I found pills, okay. I like hold my breath every time I have to fucking figure out how to get around those things. This is a red one, so I believe he will turn into ooze. Shit, son. Stop following me around, please. I'm trying to, to kill this thing. Okay. Fish head spawns flies whenever you get hit. Sounds amazing. Probably is. I can't afford to take it. Uh, because petrified poop. And this is another amazing room that I like to fight in. Simply because uh, of the amount of poop in here. Keep hitting him until he dies. Keep hitting him until they die. I was really close. I would have totally hated myself if I had gotten hit by that. I have five bombs, so I should blow these skulls up. Why I haven't been blowing up the other ones is a mystery for you and me. Blow them up. 
Okay. Yeah, just some... Just some fuckers. Uh, let's go up into the shop. Because they'll disappear as soon as you leave the room. No need to fight them. Uh, Nun's Habit. I will take that. I will take this. I will take Starter Deck. Uh, for the card it gives. Which is the Hero Font. That is fucking amazing. It also turns every pill into cards. Um, yeah. That was a great shop. That was a very great shop. Uh, still have more money than I know what to do with. But, now, I at least have a baseline for some good shit. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, man. Really? You just, just let it touch you. Shameful. Um, getting too pumped up, man. Getting too pumped up. You're letting them, letting them distract you. With the awesomeness of the items you picked up. Okay. An eternal heart, which is cool, but not exactly what we're looking for. I have humbling bundle on this one, right? Yes. Demon judgment. That's pretty. Um, yeah. Contract from below. That's that is fantastic. Too bad I got it on the last fucking floor, but hey, it's here now and it's here to stay. I might. No, no. I'll be able to kill these. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say I might have to pop uh, Krampus' head and kill these guys, but no, it, it worked out for the better. I got a card, two of spades, and doubles my keys, because why not? Oh my god. Might as well look for a, a second secret room, or a secret room. I have a feeling where the secret, the second secret room is, that that's where the door should be. Nope. Let's try it in here anyways, just to see. Make sure that I chose right. Yeah, okay. And... Could be here. Yep. Some bombs and pills. So I will use my last four bombs on this for a destruction room. That's awesome. Break everything in the room. Get a card. It's death. Wheel of Fortune. Throw that down. Blow that up. And a chariot card. Uh, High Priestess. Not useful. Chariot is, however. So I'm gonna run Chariot Death. And as soon as more than one uh, piece of mom pops up on the map, I'll death card switch to death. Here we are. Uh, so it does damage to those three parts. And then uh, as soon as that's done, I'll do chariot. So this is pretty much one now. All I have to do is not screw up. Oh, that was that was beautiful! That was so beautiful! Oh my god, I'll take the Polaroid just to be a dick. And then champion. I won! The Yara rune. The Rune of Abundance, which doubles anything on the floor. Uh, it doubles chests, it doubles consumables, it does not, however, double uh, item pedestals. just doubles chests and, uh, and such. So it's a really good thing to take with you on the chest, so you use the Yara Rune when you get in the first room of the chest where the four chests are, and you have eight unlockable gold chests. It's quite amazing. It's quite worth the time it took to unlock. But alright! Thank you for watching, peeps. If you liked the video, please click that like button. If you want to see more content from me or Host 19 be sure to click that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.